Hi, welcome back to Educator.com. Today's lesson is rhythmic notation continued. Today we're going to be addressing rhythms that are a little more complicated than the ones we previously looked at. We will be looking at an explanation of dotted quarter and dotted half notes. We will be understanding and explaining eighth notes, sixteenth notes, and thirty-second notes. And we'll be creating measures with eighth, sixteenth, and thirty-second notes. So don't be scared of these numbers. It's just a way of describing how we're dividing time. Rhythm is all about writing down your understanding of how a measure is divided up. So we have to use our language, which is whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes. We already went over those. The eighth note, sixteenth note, thirty-second note, those are just faster divisions of the whole note. So Basically, all this is is just really uh, a new language that you're learning. So let's just take it step by step really slowly and you will understand it. First, we're going to go over something called dotted notes. This is something that you will actually see a lot, so it's really important that you understand what it means. Um, we'll start with explaining a dotted half note. So when we have a dotted half note, all it means is that we have a dot next to this note. What we do with this dot is we remember that this dot adds half of this beat to itself. So essentially what the dot, it's like a shorthand, it's like a symbol. It means this. In this case, we are adding the length of one quarter note to this half note because half of a half note is two quarter notes, right? So if we divide this in half, we add one quarter note. Now, if we have a dot next to a quarter note, we'll look at that in a second because there are two eighth notes and a quarter note. That's something we're learning in this lesson. So, one of the things you'll be learning today is that there are two eighth notes and one quarter note. So, when you put a dot next to a quarter note, you add an eighth note. So, that makes this equals one and a half beats. Let's stick with half note for now, it's a little easier to understand. So all this means is there are three beats in a measure. This is going to really help us understand the concept of 3-4, which is a time signature that we're going to learn about a little later. 3-4 is when you have three beats in a measure, and this is a really easy way. This is like the 3-4 equivalent of the whole note. Do you remember in 4-4? Four, four, when you have a whole note, that just means you play one note for the entire measure. This is the same thing. If we had three beats in the measure, which we haven't learned yet, but just trust me, this would be, you'd play one beat for the whole measure, and that would be three counts for the entire measure. So let's try some more. What you do is you just draw a dot next to the note, like that, and it automatically conveys that this is three beats. If we have a, a dot by a whole note, half of a whole note is two half notes, right? So you'd add a whole note plus a half note. That would be six beats. So the dot is something that's really important to remember. Now, when we learn about eighth notes, we're going to go over it in a little bit. But this is an eighth note. It has a flag, and it's just half of a quarter note. So eighth notes can be written like this. They can also be written like this. It means the same thing. They can also be written like this. Just because they're written connected to one another or separate, it doesn't mean that these are any faster or slower than these. They all mean the same thing. And there's two, two eighth notes in every quarter note. So when you have one quarter note with a dot, that means you take the quarter note plus half of a quarter note. So since there are two eighth notes in each quarter note, the dotted quarter note equals one and a half beats. One and a half. So usually dotted quarter notes are written in conjunction with another eighth note. We don't normally have one and a half beats just hanging out by itself in a measure of 2-4. Four. For example, 2-4 is a time signature that you just learned about in the last lesson. So we have an A and an A. Let's match that. We have an A and an A. 
This is two beats and this is two beats because this is one and a half plus half. The eighth note is half of a beat. If we would clap this rhythm, it would sound like this. One, two, and. There are three little eighth notes in here and one eighth note there. We need two beats total in the measure. So one, two, and, like that. That's how it, you, you would clap it. And if we count two beats in the measure, one, two, like that, then if you're playing this, it would sound like this. If you repeat it, one, two, and, one, two, and. This will become more clear as we delve into eighth notes a little bit further. So let's move on to eighth note.